Tsiolkovsky rocket equation, also known as ideal rocket equation, is one of the most important equations in rocket science. The equation describes the relationship between the maximum change of velocity of the rocket to the effective exhaust velocity, the initial mass of the rocket, and the final mass of the rocket, when all of the fuel is combusted. The effect exhaust velocity can also be written as the specific impulse multiplied by standard gravity. This equation is mainly used to calculate what percentage of the mass of the rocket should be solely rocket fuel in order for the rocket to reach the orbit of the Earth, or move from one orbit to another. Now, let's take a look at how this formula is derived. Let m plus delta m be the initial mass of the rocket, and v be the initial velocity of the rocket. Then, at time t equals zero, the impulse of the rocket and of the whole system will be equal to m plus delta m multiplied by v. Now, let's take a look at what is happening at time t equals delta t. Since mass of the rocket is changing through the process of fuel combustion, mass of the rocket at time delta t will decrease to m and its velocity will increase by delta v. Then, mass of the exhaust will be equal to delta m and we will denote its velocity by ve. Then we can obtain momentum for the rocket and momentum for the exhaust. Using law of conservation of linear momentum, we get that total momentum of the system at time delta t is m multiplied by v plus delta v plus delta m multiplied by ve. Now we have momentums at time equals zero and the time equals delta t. We want to use Newton's second law of motion, which says that a body's rate of change in momentum is equal to the sum of forces acting on it. So we want to calculate the difference uh, in momentums. Uh, as we can see, we obtain that the difference in, difference in momentums is equal to delta m v e plus m delta v minus delta m v. We know that our exhaust is moving with the velocity v e uh, relative to the observer on the ground, but relative to the rocket, it will be moving with v minus v e. And uh, it is important to understand that this v minus v e and not v plus v e because uh, v e has a negative direction in this situation so it will be v minus v e uh, and getting back to our calculation uh, we can see that difference of momentum uh, if we substitute v e uh, with v minus v small e uh, we will get that uh, p2 minus p1 will be equal to minus delta m v e plus m delta v since positive delta m results in decrease of the mass of the rocket, we can substitute dm with minus delta m and dv with uh, delta v, and we will get p2 minus p1 equals to dmve plus mdv. Now we use Newton's second law of motion, and instead of p2 minus p1, we substitute the obtained result. Uh, and assuming there are no external forces, so this equals to zero, um, assuming that we get that m uh, multiplied by dv dt is equal to minus ve multiplied by dm dt. Uh, and from this we can easily obtain our formula. And this is how we obtain one of the most important equations in rocket science.